so we have our scene set up in photoshop now we need a video layer for that you have to go to layers drop down to video layers and click on new blank video layer as you can see we have a new video layer here. but first we have to drag this layer above the video group so we can work on this drag it back here and now we can start rotoscoping select the color and select your brush now you just have to trace it like that but you can't properly see this way so you'd have to turn on the color overlay and if you don't want to use this extension for color overlay you can also do that by right clicking on the layer going on to blending mode and check the color overlay and select your color now back to rotoscoping let's trace this here basically rotoscoping is nothing but tracing every frame so i'm doing just that you can leave as many details as you want it's up to you let's draw this first frame properly Make sure to draw these accent lines. So now if we turn off our background layer, you can see make sure to do this step time to time to correct some mistake you might have made in your line work like i'm doing here now on to the next frame you see the rotoscoping is the most mindless part of animating for me so you can listen to your favorite songs or music or podcasts anything you want because trust me it gets boring now we just have to trace every frame for the rest of this footage and also one important tip make sure you draw on the correct layer because it has happened to me before i accidentally drew on the background layer and then when i realized i have to draw i have to draw those frames all over again
it's looking good we have three frames here So now let's draw the rest of the frames. I will stop talking now so you can see it for yourself. So we are on the one second mark now. The one second animation is almost done. So now let's see it. I will turn off the background and turn off the color overlay. And let's drag the marker here. Let's see. You can see here, I forgot to draw the arm in this frame. You see, that's why it's important to check your progress from time to time. That's what I was talking about before. So now let's draw it here. And it's looking good. So now let's move on to the rest of the frames I will draw the rest of the frames now
it's almost done now let's add a background here see for ourselves let's drag the marker back here whoa it turned out much better than i expected and it looks very good so that was the rotoscoping in photoshop but it's not the end of the course because i have a bonus lecture for you all so stick around and i'll see you in the next lecture